So in this video, we're looking at the physical celeste objects, procedural planets, what a mouthful. And as requested, this is a paid product on Blender Market. I will be fully transparent. However, if you want to see how it works, hey, let's go. So I've already got the add-on enabled. I am going to go into rendered view because I can. We are in Eevee at the moment, so let's go enable planets. And obviously we don't see anything. Add a new planet, give it a name, subscribe. And there's our planet. Now, the real interesting thing is, it's not an object. What? It's actually a world shader. So obviously the basics, you know, we can move where the planet goes, off to the side. Let's delete our little lamp light. But we do have our um, sunlight. Go away, cube. And so here, this is where we can kind of like rotate it around. Whichever direction we want the sun to be coming from. Sweet. This is good that they're implementing presets, but we're gonna go from scratch. And if you've already got a planetary texture, so I've actually got some of my downloads, let's go into diffuse, let that load, change the linear rec, we will go to filmic log. And there we go, we've got our nice little planet McGee. And um, we can add in a roughness or a height map. Let's go into downloads and we will add in the H. And so now that's kind of like giving us a little bit of extra there. Very quickly, we can just go enabled atmosphere and it creates an atmosphere. Sick. I do love this kind of like zooming in. That looks gorgeous. Now it's a little bit too thick. That's fine. There's a whole bunch of settings in here. I normally come on the Rayleigh scattering. <laughs> come down to end level and change this down to 0.1 or so. And obviously we can change the scale of the planet. And we still do have that nice... However, if it's a little bit too kind of like jittery, we can turn off this temporal projection in Eevee. And that'll actually clean it up a little bit in the render. I'm gonna put the end level back up and we're gonna turn down the scattering just so we've got a bit bigger atmosphere. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Moving down a little bit further, we can obviously add rings if we go into procedural and we've added in rings quite easily. I do like rotating the sun around a little bit. And then what that does is it kind of like creates a shadow across the ring. Oh man, I love the look of that. Now I am hoping that they actually do create a bit of a procedural um, planet setup. So we don't actually have to bring in textures. However, the way I've done it is I've just used GeoGen and then we can create, I don't know, let's go detail planet two. And so we kind of, can create planets within here. You have to remember we're just focusing on the texture, blah, 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 all this stuff. When you're looking at the rendered, we're gonna get the color, export that, export to color, and then the height map up here, export to height map. And that's how we get the two textures. And so we're gonna make some planets. This texture is kind of like really low quality, but look, 